Hi guys, today I thought I would do a little different read aloud. Um, sometimes it's fun to just read something silly and I feel like I feel like reading something silly today. So I'm gonna read to you a book called More Bears. This is one of the best books that my kids and I read together. Once upon a time there was a story this story was a lovely story with absolutely no bears in it. Not a single bear anywhere. Then one day... More bears! What? Who said that? The author, author of the story looked around the room, wondering where those voices had come from. Were those the voices of children shouting? Then he went back to writing. As I was saying, this story had absolutely no bears at all. The author of this, the author was very certain about this. More bears! The author tried very, very hard to ignore the children who thought that the story ought to have... What do you think? <gasps> More bears! Fine. This story had a bear. It was a cute little baby bear strolling through the book looking for... What do you think? More bears! Now, hold on a second. The author of this story knew exactly how many bears it should have, and the author insis insisted there should only be... More bears! Two bears. There. Happy now? An adorable, cuddly, wuddly little bear named Mr. Fluffy and his mama bear, Stella, who always wore a yellow hat. Now, it happened that Stella and Mr. Fluffy, like all bears, were especially fond of... What could it be? <gasps> More bears! More bears, of course. The author was just thinking that. The author was thinking that just to keep everybody happy, this story should have a papa bear, whose name, by the way, was Captain, Captain Picklehead, and a bear named Uncle Sheldon, who was bald and loved to play the ukulele. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. More bears! Stop that! How many bears do you want this story to have anyway? Do you really want to hear about Bobcat Sam, the bear who rode a pony? And Admiral Haversham, the English dancing bear? And Excellent Steve, the bear who just wanted to surf? You do? Wow, why didn't you say so? In that case, the author suddenly decided that what this story really needed was... More bears! Yes, 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 more bears. So the author as added Astro Bear, who, by the way, was Bulgarian and always kept a hamster in his pocket, just in case. And then the author put in three more bears named Lester, Chester, Esther, and Floyd. Wait, that's four. Oh, well, four is okay, because after all, this story really needed... More bears! It needed a bear named Lucky Eddie who juggled carrots and a bear named Elbow who wasn't very smart and always wore his underpants on the outside of his regular pants. And a bear named 123, which even the author thought was a strange name for a bear. And since this probably wasn't enough, the author added even more bears. The author added six bears on tiny pink bicycles, two bears reading comic books, one bear flying across the page in a cape and later hosen, three more bears swinging through trees on vines, a bear in a yellow submarine, several bears making cupcakes, an entire team of firefighter bear, firefighting bears running across the page with hoses, ladders, and party balloons. There were bears hanging from the top of the page, bears sleeping in the corners, and bears standing on top of other bears. There were so many bears in the story that they couldn't all fit on the page. It was crowded. Too crowded. So crowded that some bears started pushing other bears off the page and arguing, which made the author grumpy. And when authors get grumpy, they start rewriting, changing the story. In fact, the, this author was so grumpy, he told the bears to leave. And they did. After all, this was the author's story. They walked off the page. They rode off the page. They swung, served to dance, climbed, ran, and even somersaulted off the page. There they go. <sighs> At last, all the bears were gone, and the author smiled. Finally, the author had a story with no bears in it. A lovely story with not a single bear anywhere just the way the author wanted it. Because you see, the author was quite certain that this story should have absolutely more chickens. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. That's one of my favorite stories. I love it. it. Makes me want to write a silly story about bears or chickens or something like that. 
talk to you later. Bye.